Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Chat reminded me of something. We are going to take our leper. We're going to name him Idu. And I'm also going to take my dog man here, my hound master, and we're going to name him Joe. Might as well, like, do the... Nah, we, we know who Joe is. <laughs> okay, so there's our there's uh, that done. Everyone's in stress relief that needs to be in stress relief. We're ready to go out on this boss fight mission. Crusader up front. Highwayman in the second position. He can repost, sorry, he can do list advance and then point blank shot to go forward and backward and to activate his repost ability. We have a healer in the third position. We have the plague doctor in the back line. We need trinkets. So, accuracy and melee skills, and damage? Yeah, and damage. We want the healer to have the healing trinkets, we have two of them, plus, sorry, plus 45% healing skills is nice, Plague Doctor, we know what we want there, we can't hold two unfortunately. Accuracy on ranged skills is very nice on a Plague Doctor, I think that's worth it. And the Highwayman, what do you get? I don't know. You have 13 speed for the next mission. That is ridiculous. That's a, he's a very fast boy. I think what you want is, well, you know what, because you're so fast, let's give you the Dodge Stone, and then we'll give you the uh, Move Charm. You still have a net plus four speed. Cool, let's provision. We'll go and defeat this boss. Bring pretty much everything that we need. This is a boss fight. This is not, not not an opportunity for us to, you know, go in without a full inventory of loot or of provisions. You know, take all the torches, take all the food. You're gonna if you if you need them, you got them. So let's embark. Embark, bark, embark. Let's go. Mastery over life and death was chief among my early pursuits. I began in humility, but my ambition was limitless. Who could have divined the prophetic import of something as unremarkable as a twitch in the leg of a dead rat? He said twitch. walks these halls. Only the mad or the desperate go in search of him. Plus XP, plus damage. Plus XP, plus damage on everyone. And also, plus town event made it so that the Highwayman has more speed and... You had less... You take less stress or something? I don't see, like, where that benefit is listed, but I think the Crusader takes less stress, so him having Dismas's head is not that bad. We get a scout. The boss is up here in the top right corner. It's always in the furthest room away from your starting position. So we know where that boss is. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Now it must be carried home. We'll get there, don't worry. There's gonna be a fight up ahead. These are very long corridors. We're using a lot of torches just walking from place to place. So let's repost forward. It's good damage. And we activate, well I, I would say repost forward. Let's go forward like with like that. And now we have that repost ability. But he is stunned, I don't think he gets the repost anymore. No. But yo, we, we, I mean, we, we got eight damage for free on the other enemy. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I appreciated that. Now if only he didn't get stunned, we would have had, you know, an extra chance at eight damage on the other Weber that hit him, but you know, we didn't. That's okay. Oh, damn it. I really wanted to kill the green one. He's very slow, though. Great is the weapon One's dead. On its own. Let's go. Well, I mean, he's a lot slower than our Highwayman, but our hi Highwayman, unfortunately, was uh, stunned. And that repost, it's a, it's a good ability. It's pretty freaking awesome. The enemy attacks you. You just get a free attack on them. And I keep calling the skill repost. It activates the ability repost, but the skill is called 
duelists advanced, but you, you'll know what I mean. The match is Use repost, activate repost, have repost, whatever. He stole a key, 750 gold, and a journal page! You Even asshole. The cold stone <laughs> seems bent on preventing passage. We really do need to remove his, his kleptomania. We'll do that probably after this mission. Cause that oh, you kleptomaniac son of a gun. Okay, plague. Plague. Duelist advance. Wow, are you dead? You're one point away. All right, now you're dead. The way is lit. The path, the path is, is clear. clear. And we'll smack you. Require only the strength to follow it. <laughs> AG is laughing in chat. That's you. You're stealing from me. And there's that repost. It's but such a good I skill choose. to have. It's like a core skill on the Highwayman, pretty much. Love it. And now that we're up close. We, uh, we can point blank shot for 12 to 21, or we could hit him with the tracking shot, but he's dead to the poison. Let's go for the point blank shot. That's 12. Wow, we actually pushed him back. He has, he's a big fat dude and we pushed him back. That's pretty good. Uh, that could kill. <laughs> Actual garbage, my dude. You are garbage. Freaking stealing my gold and my keys. It's not just a, w a name, it's a way of life. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go for the kill. God, that's a lot of damage. We could have gone for a stun, but I figured we'd probably just want to get the kill and move on. More spiders. Scary, scary spiders. Another one falls. Oh, you're gonna web him? Okay, you're dead. Plus eight speed for two rounds. <laughs> oh, it's so good. You know what? Inspiring tune. Minus nine stress. This party has it going on. I mean, it's a good freaking party. Should have gone for the other attack. No, you're dead. Sweet. Uh, sure. Be gone, fiend. Yeah, repost is a wonderful, wonderful skill to have. Success. And because our highwayman has plus like six speed, he's going first every combat. So first turn, repost forward. You know it to be true. Right, the stress dealer is dead. Uh, you know what? Judgment's got a lot of damage on it, so let's just try to hit him in the back and smack this guy in the front. 10 to 20. Eradicated. You know what we could do? We could position ourselves in such a way that that our highwayman lunges forward and then the crusader lunges forward with Holy Lance. We could do it. Seven, we have to hit him for three. Two to three, nope. Let's just hit him for 16. Put him on two HP. You know what? If we put the stun on him, we get a turn to heal. They could just trade the forward back one, but I don't have anyone else to put in the in the number one position slot is the thing. I need like another person to add to the party to make that really truly effective. Their formation is broken. But for now, you know, this is fine. We're, we're doing a good job. We're not getting stressed at all. Crit modifier plus 6%. Confidence Go for it. Surges as the enemy crumbles. Because, like, here's what I'm thinking, right? If we put the Highwayman here, he can start with the Duelist Advance to get into position two. 
And if we put the Crusader here, he can start with the Holy Lands to get into position two. And if we do that, then, you know, I mean, this actually works fine. Because the Vestal will be in position two, they can heal in that spot. They can do everything except for Judgment. Yeah, this actually works totally. I like it. I like it. Let's do it like this. Just pass it up. We'll backtrack. The Highwayman's probably going to be good at traps. 90%! Hell yeah. Losing a lot of Torchlight every move. But we're going to do a full exploration. Try to get as much loot as possible. As many crests and such. Yo! Gold. Trinkets Get and bottles. Emeralds and rubies, much blood. better than citrine and jade. Let's get rid of the medicinal herbs and the holy water, though. I want the money. Money's important, man. Yeah, we have, uh, we've got something good here. I'll use a key on it, why not? No! Let's just, like, use the shovel first. Hold up. Because there's this wall here. So we'll use the shovel, do a little bit of backtracking. Then we'll use the key. Cool. We got some blood. We're gonna need these torches, I think. I'd like to keep them. Get rid of the anti-venom. Take the blood instead. The blood, anything for the blood? There's a trap there. Okay, we got a 90% chance of disarming it. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. I have plenty of supplies, thank you. Plenty of the important supplies, anyways. The, the important supplies. <laughs> Oops. Okay, he's got no stress. Doing very good from a stress perspective. Very good from a loot perspective as well. Not a lot of gold, but a lot of gemstones anyways. That's good enough. Do we have someone giving us better scouting chance? No. We just have good scouting, I guess. Hold up. A handsome reward. For a, a handsome piece of paper. Found. Yo, we could do the shambler. Plus speed, plus damage. We've got all of the good stuff. So the first launch happens. You have nothing to do. So you might as well heal. Compassion is a rarity in the fever. You can then launch forward. 12 to 24. Another abomination. Get destroyed. From our lands. Like that's that I think is a good combo for us. Slowly, that seems like it's pretty good. Gently. This is how a life is taken. We get hit for a tiny, tiny, piddly amount of damage. What do we care? Uh, point blank shot, eleven to twenty-one. Executed with impunity. And dude, I'm I don't know, I'm thinking maybe we can do the shambler. We're very good at being shuffled around because we have the highwayman and the crusader who can have lunging attacks. We're gonna have very low stress. We can buff ourselves. Oh, I didn't take sanctuary skills. Oh, ah, damn it. That's something that I did forget. I didn't take um, camping skills. I'll have to remember to do, that, to do that next time, but we could probably do it. We have a lot of extra damage. We have some good relics now. It's a it's a boss killing squad. I did not re change our party positions. Okay, gotta remember to do that. Look, one day I'll remember. Because I didn't do it properly, I'm gonna have to waste a lot of attacks killing this guy in the back. But that's okay. Uh, sure. He dodged it. All right. Well, he's gonna live and get an attack off. Unfortunately. Yep. But we killed one of them. 
I don't want to be stressed, because if we fight the Shambler, we're going to get stressed. But we can at least do some targeted stress removal at camp. As the at least you're dead. I just gotta remember that because I, I changed my party order, default par party order is not the default party order anymore. <laughs> if that makes any sense, probably doesn't. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Right, I want this to be the default par party order. Like, I want to right-click this and say set party order, but I can't do that. So we're just gonna have to make do. Good, surprised. So we start with the lunge. I'm gonna try to hit the, the stress dealer. We have good healing skills because of our trinkets, so healing does not matter. The stress matters. Oh my god, 11 to 21. Continue well, we did onslaught. only 11, but we got the kill. <laughs> we are still gonna poison the back line, though, to get rid of the, uh, the arbalist, but that's a... That's a good set of attacks right there. Wow, he's actually dead. It's so good. Impressive. The crit repost. It's so good. <laughs> Impressive. I don't want to waste the point blank shot on him. Let's just go for the uh, the slice. I don't have a targeted stun, but that's okay. I can at least still put on the poison. Might as well do a party heal for four. It's pretty good. Might as well smack you. You're dead. And we have three keys. That's a lot of keys. Brought low and driven into the mud. Should have opened that. Mechanical I wasn't thinking. Hazards. Possessed by evil intent. Okay. Default party order. Except you and you have to switch. <laughs> I just gotta remember to do that every time. I'm probably gonna forget at some point. May we find victory. I think we're gonna go for the Shambler. I think we've got the squad that can handle it. I really do. We at least dodged that trap. Thank you for having uh, 26 dodge. That's a lot of dodge. Now the stress on the back line constantly is kind of sucking, but you know, what are we gonna do? Ooh, pop a torch. Okay. You can Holy Lance the back line, so you should repost her to see if you can get a kill. You cannot. Two to four is not going to get a kill either. Okay, so party heal. We are going to have to do a lunge in order to kill the um, one of the two back lines. Might as well kill the one that's the least overkill, you know? You've got eight HP, you've got 11. Might as well kill you because you've got 11. Decimated. And maybe we can get lucky and move before. Actually, we can move before her. Ah, oh, but you can't, you don't have a, a close range melee attack or ranged attack, except for tracking shot, which doesn't work. Hmm. So I guess we just have to hope that like our plague doctor moves first, but obviously that's not what happened. You're taking more stress damage, which sucks big time. Heal up. want to do like some stress reduction we should probably focus on that especially if we are going to go for the shambler we want zero stress on everyone because when if we live on that shambler fight we're gonna need <laughs> serious mental counseling so toss out some heals the crit heals are nice because they do reduce stress And this is why I have these these nice 
skills on everyone. Healing, healing, stress recovery, and healing. You know, if we're done with the fight and everyone is basically poisoned. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? You can kind of just let him, let him slowly die. Can I use the camping log right now? I shouldn't. We should save it till after the boss fight. Thing is, I really want these. Um, let's get rid of the bandage. Keep the holy water. We'll close. That's fine. We'll move on. So this is gonna be our boss fight in the next room. Right, everyone get back into your into places. Places, please! Places, people! We're gonna fight the boss. We're gonna destroy the boss. And then we're gonna fight the shambler, which is gonna be harder than the boss. But hey. Hopefully we'll live. So we can holy lance the one in the back. We gotta remember that. But also, we were posted for six. <laughs> it's pretty good. And you're dead. Like, stack up dodge chance, you know, make him be a guard as well, activate the repost. Every attack from the enemy just results in them taking damage. It's so lovely. Uh, I it's kind of a waste to even attack you. Go for the big guy. Because I'm just going to lunge and crit you for 32 and murder you. I banish thee. You are dead. We do need to kill this guy quickly, we can't stall, because he does have um, stress attacks. So we probably do want to kill him as quickly as possible. He is currently dead. Yes. I was kind of hoping to get some more healing out of it, but that's okay. If we can't do it, we can't do it. Now. Places? Places, people? Places? I think I'm gonna put the Crusader up front, and there is a reason for this. Towering, fierce, the reason is, oh, he's really tall. He's a tall dude. Um, but we're putting the Crusader up front because this guy is at the front. We gotta hit him at the front. We can't use the Holy Lance to hit him. So we are going to repost. A singular strike. A uh, good crit. He hits us, we hit him back. We probably are just gonna poison him too. Probably just gonna smack him. How much damage is this gonna do? This is gonna do 11 to 21. It's probably gonna get a kill. Let's just go for a, a quick heal. I want everyone to have full health by the end of this. And you can just kill that enemy that was summoned. Oh, you missed! Morgilia, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you later. He missed! I can't believe it! The Bone Soldier is pretty slow, though. Let's go for a tracking shot now. No, let's just go for the, um, the Wicked Slice. You know what? Get the kill. We can't let him get an army. Cheesy Moon 2, thank you for the follow. That's all for now. Well, thanks for stopping by, Cheesy Moon. And thanks for saying uh, such kind of words. I appreciate it. Stack up the poison. 10 poison damage a turn. Pretty good. Really? You didn't repost that? Strange. Uh, there's another bone soldier. Probably don't need to heal so much. We could probably go for an attack. It's a self-heal as well. There we go. That's what we're looking for at a at a the Crusader, a one-hit KO on the front line. The clawing dead. Oh, you missed, son. You missed me. And now he's taking 15 damage a turn every turn. 
That's pretty freaking good. And we can uh, we can repost forward again. Just to keep the repost ability active. Keep hitting him. Yeah, just keep going. As long as we can keep one hit KOing the Bone Soldier at the front, which we didn't do here, then he can't summon more than one unit at a time. Well, now he's gonna summon a second. But he did get crit. So he's got two Bone Soldiers now. Well, there goes one. Uh, really should get the heal out. Like a Bone Soldier, I'd rather do a heal than an attack. Okay, so he's dead. We do need to recover some stress, but... Let's make sure we can kill the boss first. He's also not being poisoned for that much, unfortunately. Ah, he's gonna live one more turn. No, he's not. He's dead. Good. Even reanimated bones can fall. Even the dead can die again. Even the dead can die again. We get a couple of really crappy relics. Trinkets, same word, different thing. Uh, I don't really care for these. We're prob probably just gonna drop them. Move resist. Move skill chance. What does... Hold on, someone, ha someone has a debuff on one of their attacks, is it you? Minus five accuracy. Really, no I didn't realize Nox Noxious Blast was a, uh, a debuff as well. That's pretty interesting. But I do want the accuracy more than the debuff skill chance, I think. Um, so yeah, let's just ignore these. Continue exploring. Let's begin our backtracking. There is a battle up ahead. But maybe we can use this battle time to uh, heal up a little bit, recover some stress. The light, the promise of safety. Looks like we'll be able to. And again, I did forget to swap out my party order, but at least we got one kill there. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Yeah, go for the go for the kill first. He's gonna get one attack. We're gonna immediately repost him, and he's gonna die. So. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. We gotta heal our highwayman though. He's getting a little bit wounded. Don't kill him. We can focus he healing him with food if we have to. For now, let's just make sure we can kill this Bloodletter in two turns. And uh, maybe even go for a quick stun. It didn't work. It could have worked, though. I was worried about a stress attack coming out and us not having an opportunity to deal with it. But actually, we didn't get stress from Reign of Whips. Maybe, maybe Reign of Whips is only stress later in the... In the game, maybe at this early stage, it's not stress. I don't know. You failed. Mind we have so much stress now. We gotta fight the shambler. We don't have to, but I want to. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna camp. We're gonna feast. A spark without kindling. We're gonna recover as much stress as possible and buff ourselves for the encounter to come. Remove mortality debuffs. Not necessary. Prevents nighttime ambushed. That seems like a pretty good call. Accuracy and dodge seems pretty good. We actually don't have great options right now. But let's do um, minus stress and minus stress for all battles for everyone. Forget not that our errand is holy and just light will prevail. Let's not worry about the ambush. Maybe we should worry about the ambush. Let's prevent the nighttime ambush. Reduce your stress. Can we do anything else with one? No. But that's a good camp. We can use some keys now. Ornate sarcophagus, it is slightly ajar. 
A key doesn't do anything here, does it? No, you just open it up. Okay. It's empty. I think there's no negative there, but maybe I'm wrong about that. Eh, it's been a while. Get a torch. I would like to heal you up a little bit more. Let's do that with food right now. We'll keep backtracking a little bit. We're like two HP down on two units fighting a Shambler. With a level one, two, one, one. This is entirely doable. I don't know if this is a great party for doing it, but this, it's entirely doable for us right now. I know that. We got a chance. You get another journal page. Blood-soaked pages torn from a journal. The wound is starting to fester. The flesh around it is gray, flaking, and rigid, almost scale-like. As I write this, my breathing has taken on a hollow timber and is more labored. My compatriots, compatriots are laughing, telling me not to worry. It's just the salt mist in the air that pervades these caverns. Ooh, sketchy. All right, don't fail the trap this time, Plague Doctor. Doctor! Okay, you have like an 80% chance and you failed it twice in a row. You suck, my dude. <laughs> okay, heal up. I know we're stressed, don't worry about it. Okay, well, I mean, I think we should. So the first thing we should do probably is activate the holy water. It gives us many resistances, which are nice. Activate it on you. Bleed, Blight, Disease, and Debuff Resist for three rounds. We are going to, before we walk in, do a quick little swap on a couple of people here. Like so. This is fine. No, do it like, uh, like this. And then we are going to use a torch. The Sacrifice of Fire is a gateway to ruin. Place a torch if you crave the void. Well, let's see if we can defeat the Shambler with this makeshift party full of assholes. Behold the infinite malignity of the stars. Well, I can't do lists advanced, unfortunately, but I can tracking shot if I really wanted to, or I could point blank shot. I think we're going to point blank shot just for the damage. I, I moved us around, by the way, because we would get shuffled walking in here, and I want us to try to shuffle into a good position, but it didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. That's fine, though. Decisive bubbling. A crit on that attack is fantastic. Uh, we're just gonna hit you again, I guess. No need to worry about the heal right now. 100% chance of resisting the stun, or 100% stun resistance, I should say. We have a 10% chance of applying the stun. So we're just gonna hit you. Abdurus advancement. Grievous injury. And he hits us back. We've gotta get that repost up. It's the most important thing right now. Good thing. Get a kill on that clapper claw. The Sh Shambler Sycophant, they changed the name of it. Oh, there's the clapper claw. Such a Whoa! Assault cannot be left unanswered. Eight damage sucks. But we've gotta hit these guys hard. The thing about the clapper claws is every time they attack, they get a bonus. So you have to kill them quickly, or they will start to overpower you. Or you could just focus on the on the boss entirely. I kinda like dealing with the clapper claws. Admittedly, but let's get that damage over time out on the boss. 10 damage a turn for four turns. You can kill the Clapper Claw. You can heal. And every time this guy does his AoE attack on everyone, we hit him back. We have uh, some poison and blight on everyone. We can actually deal with that with the Plague Doctor. Battlefield Medicine cures Blight and Bleed, so if we need to, we can do it. Clapper Claws stick around after the boss now, so they'll murder you after he's dead. Well, good thing I'm killing him first, then. <laughs> okay, 15 poison damage. 
keep everyone healed up. We got to keep everyone healed up because they're poisoned, they're bleeding. We have clapper claws. They dodged. Mortality clarified in a we're very stressed out, but you know, we're getting this done. He's almost dead. In fact, he's dead in one more action. All we have to do is kill the enemies that are remaining. So we should just focus on the clapper claws. Mm, the clapper claw clan. You're dead. The clapper claw on the back is gonna suck. Oh, we don't have her post up anymore. That's unfortunate. We can poison him. I'm gonna do a targeted heal for nine. That's pretty good. And you are going to. You might as well just do a stress heal, because you can't hit anything. The boss is dead as soon as he acts. The space between worlds is no place. You're right, these things do remain. That sucks. They do stress damage, they hit you, they gain bonuses. Plus 75% protection, and he attacked twice? Maybe three times? It's freaking crazy, man. We're doing one to the Clapper Claw. Luckily, we have, you know, poison and, uh, and or bleed skills, AKA poison skills, we can deal with him. But if we didn't have poison, Clapper Claws can freaking destroy you. Might as well do you. We're probably gonna put everyone in stress relief. We just have to accept it. So we've done it. They're dead. We get an ancestor level trinket. Push on to the tasks end. Plus 25% healing. Plus 25% stress skills. Minus 10% or plus 10% stress. Pretty much this is a, a vestal item. It's better than the Shirujin's Chir charm, <laughs> but it does increase our stress a little bit. But it's still good to have, I think. So we'll take it. We'll take everything. End our quest. Get the hell out of here. So the Shambler has been defeated and we get another Ancestor's Relic in this, uh, this quest reward. And the boss has been defeated too. That was a very fruitful endeavor. And we have our first level three unit, the Plague Doctor. Slugger, plus damage and melee skills, not useful at all. Gambler in town will only gamble, has to be removed. Faded, chance to turn any miss into a hit. I have no idea how that works, but I hope it's good. Lazy eye does not matter on a melee unit. It might matter for the the lunge. A wash in blood and delusion. He bears nope. the burden of a thousand lifetimes. Zealous accusation is the only skill that matters for, and we were not using it. Blood scourge. There are some who believe that only a litany of blood and suffering can cleanse sickness in the land. Here's one who will do his part. This is a flagellant part of a new, the new like DLC characters in uh, Crimson Court. There is power in the blood for those with the fortitude to pay the price. This guy inflicts a lot of bleed damage. He's really good at that. He's also a part-time healer. Exsanguinate and reclaim and redeem are all healing skills and this guy his entire shtick is that he stacks up bleed he stacks up bleed on himself he gets to low hp he heals enemies does a lot of damage comes back to life and doesn't come back to life he, he he regenerates his health quickly and he also applies bonuses to your party when he gets on death's door and stuff like that so he's all about the risk of being close to death and and hurting himself in order to hurt enemies and heal himself and heal his teammates it's very interesting has left in search of a holy vision. Okay. Everyone else has recovered stress. I hate that we've lost someone for a week. Can I, can I dismiss him? I could, I could dismiss him and say, look, you're lost for a week, get out of my town. <laughs> but until then, first, let's uh, take another, another few people here. Hellion Antiquarian Crusader. We do not need another Antiquarian. We do not need another Hellion. They, they're so cheerful when they're showing up. Let's get this on. Let's get this show on the road. Let's do it, team. Two months later, after fighting abominations and skeletons and 
horrible, horrible, uh, Cthulhu-esque and Lovecraftian beasts out of nightmares. They're like, my god, my sanity. We need more pieces of paper. We do not have any more pieces of paper. Probably, uh, in that case, not gonna take the Crusader. We have one. We, we have a Crusader and a Leper, and honestly, they're kind of similar. Let's not worry about it too much. We could do the next boss fight, the Sonorous Prophet, and get the Mantra of Fasting. Very rare. Plus 40% max HP if wasting, plus 7 speed if wasting. Crimson Curse, we'll worry about the Crimson Curse stuff later. For now, we don't need to deal with it. There's also a long mission that we could do next. Yo, a long mission? Who would we take for a long mission? We would take... Scouting Chance and Weld. We'd probably take a... Um, Oh, we have to do these missions anyways, that's right. Um, we should all actually probably do... No, we should We should do the long mission. No, we shouldn't. We should do these missions. We, should, we need to start exploring. The thing is, we're only going to get the, the simple short level mission in the Warrens, the Weld, and the Cove until we complete one mission. And then we'll be able to get like three or four missions in these areas. So we do need to kind of do the short ones at least once in order to unlock longer missions. So we should probably go to like the Weld or the Cove or something. If we're going to the Weld, we're gonna want the Flagellant. We're gonna want Dogman, I think. Yeah, we'll bring along Dogman. We'll want, I think, a Stress Healer and a Healer as well. So maybe we'll take this as our party. I'll think about it though, for now. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. You can support me on Twitch and Patreon and Streamlabs donations. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of, next mission of, Darkest Dungeon.